What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be trying to do a few things that will hopefully help us contain some of this terrible echo you can probably hear right now uh, that I'm getting. Uh, you guys are probably really hearing it. You know what, in fact, let's go ahead and cut the music. Okay, so here's me talking in this room without the music, okay? So you can probably hear right now all of the reflections in my voice is bouncing off the walls in my room, bouncing off the corners and stuff like that because there really isn't any acoustic treatment in the room right now because if you watched my last video on that Tonor mic I did, I said I even took the acoustic treatments that I had, I took them down. They're just little foam panels that I had on the wall, but I'm gonna redo them because I've ordered more, a little bit higher quality ones, hopefully, and uh, made of a different material, and hopefully they will actually help block out a bit more of this ambient noise, and I've got more of them, that way we can put more of this treatment on the wall. So let's go ahead and roll our intro, and we'll get right into this. Let's go. URCD Key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices on their Microsoft Office 2016 bundle that comes with a Windows 10 license as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in your product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, type in my promo code, once again, RAV20, and see the sweet savings appear. Check the links in the video description to learn more. Okay, so the funny thing about this is I've talked about this with my girlfriend who listens to me make my videos like all the time. And I even talked about this with one of my good friends. And honestly, they've watched my videos and they've told me that they have no idea what I'm even talking about. But me being the one that constantly has headphones on, listening to my audio while I'm editing it. And absolutely, you know, perhaps some of you guys who are actually video editors, audio editors, stuff like that, can definitely tell the difference between a treated, you know, acoustically treated room and one that is not like the one I'm talking in right now. Uh, so I'm going to try to figure out if like buying these, you know, cheap acoustic panels from Amazon is actually worth it and if it will help my room or not, or if there's something else I still have to do. So once again, let's cut the music. Okay, so go ahead and listen to my voice right now. I'm just gonna talk normally. Listen to the reflections that my voice is having around the room right now. And I want you guys to keep this in mind for when we go ahead and install these panels. And then I want you guys to listen to it after I install all these panels and uh, treatments to see if they even do anything. All right, so go ahead and put the music back on. Okay, so what we're basically gonna do is we're gonna try to install them on a couple of walls in my room, mainly ones that I feel like when I'm talking in this scene or back here doing voiceovers, that my voice will be reflecting off of the most. And we're also going to be installing bass traps in the corners. So let's go ahead and start with the foam panels first. So I got these off Amazon, obviously, and they are in an all black color. And they actually do come in in a different type of foam than I previously had before. And it feels a lot better you guys I, I don't know what it was the ones that I had before they were not only they were a charcoal color and I didn't want that anymore but they were more of like a I don't know a, a more cheap like I don't even know what the word I want to say is like crusty feeling foam they feel like they're just gonna like break apart when you feel it but this other material that I just got feels a lot smoother and it feels more dense actually like it's gonna actually hopefully you know help that sound reverberation and actually block more sound. I don't know if that's actually true, but again, that's why we're gonna be testing this. And then also with the bass traps, they actually luckily feel the exact same as the panels I picked up. They aren't even made by the same manufacturer, but they feel like they are the same material. And of course, I will link both of these in the description below in case you guys wanna pick them up for yourself. Uh, but again, let's go ahead and test these and make sure they're actually worth it for you. All right guys, so first we're gonna do all four of our bass traps. We're gonna put them in the corners of the room. We're just gonna get these out of the way first um, so it looks like they do fit perfectly in the corner of my my space here so all I got to do hopefully uh, what, I'm, what I'm hoping is all I got to do is take these uh, command strips I'm gonna put a couple on each of the corners of the base strap itself and then adhere it to the wall and hopefully it'll stick 
and it will not come off. So it's very important that when you do get these on and get it over to the wall, you're going to go ahead and stick it to the wall and then hold it for about 30 seconds, okay? It's very important, 30 seconds to a minute. That way it adheres and then it won't just like randomly fall off. So let's go ahead and put these on real quick. So again, pay attention to these. This is gonna go for the foam, uh, the sound panels too. Uh, you gotta make sure you use the right side. This one right here even says to the wall. So make sure you take this part off, put it to the back of it and then stick it to the wall. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and stick this thing in the corner up there and then we're gonna do this for all four corners of the room, but I'm gonna show you guys one time so hopefully you guys get the idea. Oh yeah, don't forget to remove these that say to the wall. Let me get that to focus, there we go. Don't forget to remove the, that because that's where the sticky stuff is, so there you go. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do the other three around the room and we'll be done with the base straps. All right guys, so that wasn't too bad actually. So you can see behind me, let me see if I can see in the mirror there. Yeah, there we go, right right there behind me. Uh, we got that one done. Let me see, that one done, that one done, and that one done. So all four are in the corners and uh, they went up without any problems. Uh, and it, it seems like the, uh, the command strips are actually sticking and nothing has fallen off yet. So. Uh, plus one for 3M right there. They're actually sticking to uh, coated walls, which they usually aren't meant to. So uh, pretty cool. They uh, are very sticky and they're working. But now let's go ahead and move on to the uh, actual foam panels and start putting those on the wall. So I'll take you over here and show you guys how I'm gonna install these. Okay, so with these guys right here, it's going to be a very similar process as the base traps. So all I'm gonna do is pretty much take, like I think I'm only gonna use one of these command strips and just stick it in the middle here. Uh, to get it placed on the wall and then I'm actually like I said gonna actually put a tack in the middle of the wall Because I don't think if I put uh, these guys on all four corners I don't think they're gonna stay because I already had problems with that with my last set of foam panels that I used So uh, again, this is just a, a problem for me because I have coated walls if you guys have perfectly smooth walls Then what I would suggest is you just take one of these and put one in every corner kind of like I did with the base traps and then stick it to your wall and make sure, again, you hold it there for 30 seconds and it will stick to your wall, okay? And then just make sure you uh, alternate the pattern uh, of these right here. Um, just honestly, it's for looks. I believe it. there's an acoustic uh, reason you do that as well. Uh, so the reverberations uh, hit off of it differently. Uh, but again, uh, just putting one this way and then one that way and, make, and alternating them also looks pretty cool. So I just suggest doing that. But anyway, so what we're gonna do is figure out how I need to actually put these on my wall specifically, and then uh, we'll get them put up there, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Two thousand years later. Okay, so we are finally done with, well, not everything, but for now, for this video, we're pretty much done because I used every foam panel I had except for a couple just uh, that I may need to use to fill in some spots. Uh, but it looks like I'm still gonna need more foam panels anyway to cover all the spots I wanted to do, but. I did the best I could and I'm gonna show you right now. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around. Okay, so starting up here, uh, you see I did a few panels up along the top where my other you know, 3D panel things are right there. And then I went over here, did around the back of my PC back there and then did a bit on that wall. And the reason I haven't finished that entire wall right there is because I'm actually going to get more disc plates and put them in that slot right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish that corner where you see that empty space right there. So, and then this wall over here, what I already showed you that we, we started a bit, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I may fill in all the gaps and everything like that with more um, if I feel like it. But for right now, I think it looks pretty cool um, the way it is, but I may wanna just you know completely do the entire thing, but I gotta make a lot of cuts to make sure everything fits. And you see up there above those, those panels, I gotta actually make little smaller ones to fit up there. Kind of same thing right there. You can see I put one over top of the window right there. That's just kind of sitting there. Uh, but yeah, I, I stretch it over this way. And then in this corner, I did a full thing with the base traps extending down. I did a few in the corner with it uh, because that's when, I, when I'm actually talking right here in front of my microphone. Uh, my voice projects, you know, this way and this way normally. So I wanted to make sure I got some dampening over there. So looks like I may need some more panels, but for right now, uh, I'm happy with it. And I can already tell that the room sounds a lot more dampened and uh, it, 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 they all worked. The main thing is they all worked. Uh, and 
The huge thing that I need you guys to remember when you're doing this to really, really make it easier for yourselves is when you're putting the command strips on, what I had to do was I had to put four command strips on each of the panels behind it. And then when you put it on the wall, you have to press and make sure you press each corner for like 15 to 30 seconds so it adheres to it. Otherwise, you're gonna be ending up, those things are gonna fall off the wall and you're gonna end up having to put them back on there. So, like I said in the beginning, my walls are textured, they're not actually smooth, so they even say that these are not supposed to really stick to textured walls, as far as I know anyway, but uh, 3M's command strips do an amazing job, you guys. Like these, none have fallen off the wall or anything like that, they're all super, super adhered to the wall and, they, and they're not coming off, okay? So the, um, the thing that I wanted you guys to keep in mind is, when I went to Walmart and bought these command strips, there's actually a Walmart brand that makes the same kind of poster strips. I'll show you guys what these look like right here. Uh, these little guys, the value pack, this is what I bought, comes with 60 of them. There's another brand that makes these in, in Walmart and I would pass on those, you guys. I had those on the wall before with my other foam panels and they are not the same adhesion. I don't know what they use for their adhesion, but they do not stay on the wall, they will fall off. So I would totally suggest these guys and uh, you're gonna have to get a lot of them. If you get 50 panels like I did, you're gonna need to buy four packs of these, okay? You guys just gotta do a little bit of math, but you know what I'm saying, like four, four of these on each panel, do the math, you need like 200 of them. So you gotta buy four packs of these and you'll have a little bit left over. So all in all, you guys, worked out great, looks awesome. So let's go ahead and sit back down and do a little bit of an audio test. All right, so now that we're back in our usual spot right here, let's go ahead and do that test I said we were gonna do at the end. So let me go ahead and let you listen to what it sounded like before. I'll play a clip right now. I'm gonna be trying to do a few things that will hopefully help us contain some of this terrible echo you could probably hear right now uh, that I'm getting. Okay, and now with the dampening, let me go ahead and cut the music. And this is what it sounds like right now. So hopefully you guys can notice a difference. Uh, I, I actually notice right now that my voice is not reverberating around the corner so much. Uh, hopefully you guys can tell as well as I do. Hopefully there's a bit of a change and you guys can actually, you know, discern for yourself whether this was actually worth to do or not. Uh, and maybe this is something that you guys might wanna do. So let's go ahead and turn the music back on. There we go. Now keep in mind, this is gonna always depend on your situation and your studio as well, or your room you're gonna be putting these in. Uh, size, shape, all, the, all that stuff takes into account, you know, the height of your ceilings, all that kind of stuff. Let me know guys, if you guys hear a difference and what you think that uh, I maybe should do next. Uh, there's a thing out there where I can make some DIY panels and actually put those on this wall that I have nothing on right now. And maybe that'll make the room even more dead. But I'm not sure if I wanna make this space sound like super dead and like have have no kind of like range in it at all. I think maybe having one bright wall and then the dampened walls may actually make a cool sound based on the way my voice is bouncing. So if this was even a little bit helpful to you guys and you guys learned something, maybe just even just how to stick them on the wall without damaging your walls and stuff like that, make sure you give the video a like. I always really love seeing you guys like my videos. And if you guys appreciate my content, you definitely wanna see more, be sure to get subscribed and turn those notifications on so you can always know when I'm about to release a new video or start a new stream. But until the next one, you guys, I'll see you later. Bye.